What's up guys, it's Eric from Bsonic. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to update the firmware on our standalone Android box. In order to do so, you need a thumb drive with at least one gigabyte of space and also a computer. So let's go ahead and get to our computer to show you how it's done. All right, so once you get to your computer, go to BeatsonicUSA.com. You'll see this and then look for our product. It's the SAB-02 standalone Android box. Click on it and then you'll have a firmware update release up here. If you want, you could go ahead and check your version on your SAB using your vehicle, check the date. Um, if it matches to this, then you don't need to update it. If it doesn't, and if this is newer, go ahead and just click here and download this file. All right, so while it's downloading, we are going to format our USB. Okay, so you do need a USB drive for this. Uh, we already plugged it in. Make sure it has at least 825 megabytes, so one gig just to be safe. We plugged it in there. So go to your USB drive. I'm gonna format this. Just do a quick format. We just went ahead and formatted it. So here it is. Okay, and go ahead and grab this file. You're going to cut it. Right click cut. And then take it to your USB. I'm going to paste it here. So once you have this file in the USB, go ahead and eject the USB. And then remove it from the computer. And then we're gonna take it to the vehicle. All right guys, so once we get in the vehicle, grab your USB stick and then get this device ready. It's already connected to the vehicle, so. Just first turn on your car. Let this device load and we'll wait until the screen changes into the standalone Android box screen. Okay. So once the standalone Android box have loaded, you can check which version it is by clicking on this version button here. And then it'll tell you that the OS version number and the app version number as well. So if you can see over here, um, this says um, 0604, which is a June 4th release. You can also confirm up here, 2021 0604, it's a June 4th release. And we have the June 28th release over here. So once we upgrade, you can confirm that the OS version, the app version has been updated. So we'll get started. Grab a USB and on the side of the box, you'll find the USB plug. Go ahead and just plug it in there. Okay, once you plug it in there, give it a few seconds and then I'll tell you the prompt that the system will start to upgrade. And this whole process will take about five minutes. So during that time, make sure nothing gets unplugged. Do not unplug the USB during that time. Don't turn off your car during that time. Or do not unplug the standalone Android box from the vehicle during that time. If you do, then you can potentially brick the system. So make sure you don't do that. Uh, once you read through all the message, go ahead and click start immediately. And then from here on out, you're gonna just have to wait for about five minutes. And while you're waiting, this is gonna load and the screen will go back to your factory screen. And then from your factory screen, it'll go back to the standalone Android box screen. And once it goes back to the standalone Android box screen, then you can then unplug your USB. And once it goes back to the factory screen, you're going to have to wait a few more minutes and it'll automatically go back to the standalone Android box screen. And during that time, you'll see that the red LED is blinking on the box. And if you look at the box, now the LED light changed into green. And then give it a little bit of time and then the standalone Android box will load its interface onto the screen shortly after. Okay, if you see the screen come out again, you could just go ahead and unplug it next time. All right, now unplug it. You can verify that your system was updated. Just go over here, go to version. And then you could see that the app version has a different number to it. This one has the 1.2.1.0 and then 628. So it's a June 28th release. Okay, you can also verify it up here too, the OS version as well. All right guys, so that concludes 
this tutorial on how to update the firmware on our standalone Android box. For any additional questions, please leave a question below or you can email us at info at bsonicusa.com. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also give us a like. Thank you very much.